Warning, the following contains scenes of graffiti. Graffiti may be art, but it's also an act of vandalism and is a crime all across the world. The D-Rock 100 does not condemn any acts of this vandalism of any kind. Otherwise, the ones that are responsible will be given a fine, probation, or even a sentence to prison. Viewer discretion is advised. On with the show. It's showtime. Everybody is the D Rock 100, and welcome back to more Oh Jets at Radio Future replay. Last time, we have done the street challenge at Sky Dinosaur Union Square. I believe the last one that we could do it at, and we have took out the special forces of Mr. Claw and Pyromaniac Lady. We also got word that we lost contact with DJ Professor K as someone may have just captured him. This time, we're going after him. So, for this case scenario, I'm gonna go with a character that has high grind speed. Especially for what will be coming up. And I can think of no one better Gay Ram. <laughs> All right, ah, uh, yep. So then you tipped us off on a on the on the direction of the skyscraper district. And that is just beyond that of 99th Street. Alright, so what do you say that we go after them? Jetset! Jetset! JSR! Jetset Radio! Hi! Okay. Let's see here. Yeah. I'm just gonna come out and say this. I consider this to be one of the most, one of if not the most annoying thing in the game. Yes, even more than that, going after these graffiti, it will be going after a well, wait. Okay, so we look at the map. The location of the Sky Dinosaur in Square, and it's about time that you know, we get to go to. The new location. Shan. And there's the, the proof. So let's go up there and find out who we're dealing with. This guy. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. This guy don't talk much, does he? Well, time for us to go after him. Style, How can you tell us that if you're captured? Let's find out. I 
hey, hey, listen up. The Golden Rhinos are here. They ain't here. Listen up, fools. I'm gonna keep broadcasting as long as I can. The Golden Rhinos brought in some sort of strange-looking machine. What is that thing? Shut that damn thing off! Welcome to the only time we ever come to the site of Tokyo Line. This is the alone time we will add her to the heavy coming here. All right, there goes one. You know what? Uh oh. Bomb! Alright. You know what? I'm taking everything back. This went from being the most annoying thing into the game to put the easiest. But you could be surprised at how hey, difficult it can be to get to, to such a thing. Unfortunately, I'm not even close to taking out the one on the right. Get it to play bombs right here. Just uh, killed over by now. Right. Ah. Oh, these things can be merciful sometimes. I don't think Fly Like a Butterfly is an inappropriate tune for this. I guess they thought it was... Alright. Okay. I'm, I retract my previous statement. This is starting to become more annoying. I never really took the time to really look more into it. Whatever it is, it's pretty much all a hunk of junk now. But you know what? This is actually going a whole lot quicker than I thought. That was great. Can't get any crazier than this, huh? Oh, wait. People of Tokyo. People of the world. Konnichiwa. Ni hao. And good evening. This is DJ Big 
Nico G, bringing you a special broadcast of supreme culture. Rokaku Bonsai Radio. Arigato, arigato. Oh, doi gozaimashita. To start off the night, I would like to proudly announce that while it was a little behind the schedule, the Rokaku Expo finally begins today. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I will show all of you the true meaning of art. Oh, I love beauty. <laughs> The name of this tower of ultimate beauty is... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. The name is irrelevant. What you must know is that this tower plays the music of the future of Tokyo and the entire world. Arigato, arigato. Merci beaucoup. Banzai! There is no use resisting. Come to the Shibuya Terminal! Hurry, hurry! It's Shogai! Charles Martinet, everyone! Yeah, I'm not kidding! The guy who plays Super Mario himself! Has finally cracked up to the point where he now has an ego and has a pretty much a beginning this egotistical maniac. Thanks to a certain someone who told me about who this guy was. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> and you know what? Hmm. Kind of thought about this for a while. Sona, you're going to be useful for something later. But I think for this case, we gotta go for her. Sweet. <laughs> she's not getting the shaft. She's actually very useful for this, and she's fast. Yeah. Cool. So. You know, this is what anyone else has to say. I always thought that, that thing is Shibuya Terminal was nasty here looking anyway. Let's do a little redecorating. Redecoration, excuse me. We gotta say DJK. I can't stand listening to this music anymore. Why? I consider it to be my absolute favorite hit music in the game. Here comes Goji. Let's end this. Hey. Well, they told us to come. Don't look at like we got any choice. Koji Bukaku is kind of interesting, but I think he went a little too far this time. No, you think? Hey, you. What the hell is that big thing? Anyway, but yo, you better watch out for that fool in black. I got better things to do than playing house with Go Koji Bukaku, but man, that big ugly thing has got to go. And that's the reason why you're getting the shaft, buddy. This Goji Wukaku dude is pretty funny. You have one sick <laughs> idea of how to see the world. We gotta protect the streets. That's not a choice. We can't let these fools just a want to take over. Shibuya Terminal's in a slate of panic. I really want to stay out of this. But we gotta go over there and take care of business. Correction. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Cool. In fact, we're reaching the end of the game right here, right now. Huh. Seems familiar. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank you personally for gathering here today. However, this tower is not furnished, and that is why I need you, all of you, 
With your voices, we can complete this tower of ultimate beauty together. Now, wipe that pitiful smile off your face. Show me the demons inside you all. Oh, not the evil show, baby. Yes, that's wonderful. You all look so terribly evil. Now this is art, baby. The art of despair. Ooh, we spend so much energy fearing our own demise. Channel that useless energy towards the tower. It shall live there for all eternity. Abandon your hopes and throw away those Miserable smiles. <laughs> and now, here to guide you all are my beautiful children, Zero Beat. And DJ Beat Goji will provide the accompaniment. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody, let's dance all together now. Hi! Spray the backs. Grace and glory. You got its much needed remake from the original, and I love it. Let's do it. My son, Archie. I'm Crick. The way I see it, you're the one to a crazy. We see things from a different perspective, you see. But in the end, he who speaks the loudest. This coming from the guy who literally have brought world danger to everyone's music they don't want to listen to and brought terror to Tokyo in more ways than one, especially since you went cracked in a, from the last game. Bring, bring! Hello, this is Pod. Hey, Pod, this is Kettle. Hey, hey, Kettle, what's going on? I'm here to tell you that you're black. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm here to tell you that I've been getting your wife. Well, well. Ah. Been wanting to say that again from my previous last play, but only better. Get back here, you creep! Jet Set Radio! Hold up, hold up, hold up. 
Wait a minute. I think I'm going to call it. Yeah. Jet Set Radio Future. He's at the name of the game. The I don't mean all that stuff that no shit down this road. The future is one big blank slate, yo. And it's up to you to decide what goes on. Yeah. Dang right it dies. Now as for this... Do not interfere with my masterpiece! My work? Huh? <laughs> All of you heed my words. My, my name is is Rokaku Goji. I, I hold the keys to the future of mankind. The world belongs to me! Against the big G himself! Godzilla? No! What the? Oh. oh, demons! Goji! Get out of my way! Go oh. right okay! Ah, crud. So, getting up to him is gonna be a rather difficult task, but it is plausible! Plausible? It's very possible, just. Try not to get too disoriented. In fact, I remember the first time when I came in here. Ugh. I felt like I was gonna be sick. I'll definitely tell you one thing. I'm definitely sick of this. Oh boy. Out of here. God. This is so disorienting. Cool. Cool. Could we just yeah. take a moment here to really appreciate his, the creativity of this remake? Love it to death. Now, I will admit, I have heard of the original Grace and Glory from the original you know, Jet Grind Radio or Jet Set Radio, depending on where you're from. Cool. Yeah. Ah, what the? Why am I veering off to the left when I jump? Am I just being that much of an idiot? Alright, try this side. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is more like it. Jump! Stay on the right rail on this one. And unfortunately, in order to, to, to truly really make this guy vulnerable, we need to ram into this guy twice. Getting close. Goji takes a whopping 30 cans to spray. This is where all of these demons from Daniel County are coming to some good use. Ok, 
come on. Cool. Nope. Okay, yeah, this is starting to make things easier for me. And you Oh, what? What happened? I mean, I know what happened, but... Alright. There we go. Alright. I believe. Oh boy. What's up, buddy? And got him. Apparently we're killing everyone inside and, and potentially ourselves. <laughs> See you later! <laughs> Sayonara! <laughs> this guy's mega cracked! desires crumble as the tower was once again nothing more than steel and glass. These scraps of paper we call money, oppressive laws set forth by corrupt men, none of these can ever extinguish the yearning for freedom felt in the hearts of all mankind. Graffiti souls are the symbols of Tokyo's freedom, and the more people are pushed, the stronger that yearning for freedom becomes. And in the end, he was not strong enough to overcome that power. He had been doomed from the beginning. However, his existence might be nothing more than a symbol of the guilt that people feel for all their greed and desire. Or perhaps, Tokyo has shown that it is one giant radio brotherhood. Perhaps he too realized this in the end. Those that seek the truth will fight tooth and nail to find it. Better believe that. And so... The radio will once again play static and worn out to me. And the TV will return to being nothing more than a square plastic box. <laughs> Our world is normal again, all right. But the graffiti left on the walls will remind people of their inner passions. It'll burn into their minds. And the dreams of the city will be carried on through the streets. People gonna remember. In the end, Goji Bukaku disappeared and the streets of Tokyo were saved. We don't even constantly remind us to live and save the day. It's not about that. We all want to live freely, for everyone to get hyped for fun. That is all. Yo! What, was the radio not on at all or something? What? <laughs> all right. And that's it! That is the main game of Jet Set Radio Future! But guess what? Unlike my last Let's Play, we're not done yet! Yeah, in my last Let's Play, I kind of stopped it from here, and I didn't really seem to really care so much about going after the graffiti that was laid on the walls. But, you know, I think it's about time that we change it up for a little bit. And I gotta say, I really like these guys so much uh, for putting the time and effort to create the perfect sequel to a game that came out in the 1999 or something like that? Jeez, so long ago. But, Hardy Boo, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, this game is like almost 20 years old. God, it feels so old. <laughs> 
Now, I have looked around, and apparently, the original Jet Grind Radio is available for purchase on the Xbox One in the store, but not Jet Set Radio Future! Uh, I hope this game gets a much needed hit remake in the future because this new generation really need to see the beauty head that this game was. But all in all, I love this game. This will always hold a special place in my heart. And I really enjoy it that the the compilation that they're giving us to us right now. Billy Brown, Charles Murray, Keisha Robertson, Eric Clark, Gina Geisen, Gary Martin, Jessica Gretzen, James Gretzel, and Pro Jeremy Jones, Jeff Kramer, Jordan Rosa, Justin Worsham, and all you guys. You guys did an amazing job, but it's really sad because so many of these guys are shown in the title, but they don't but there are some that just don't get credited for this. It makes no sense. Like, I really do want to know more on who voiced these other characters. And, yes, we're saying, keep you're kind of running into walls there. But anyway, um, Tateki Nakanuma, the director of the music in this, you really did an amazing job for this in a particular hit game, and I think you definitely earned. You, you definitely earned a huge amount of congratulations for putting so much effort into this game. All of you that have played the music and made remixes from the original, you were amazing. And I guess, for my last little words to say, I know I really said this a lot in my previous set LP, and Cube, what are you doing? So she doesn't even know what she's doing anymore. Turn up the music, and enjoy the rest of the credits. See you guys next time, once we get into the post game. Oh, what? Come on. The streets are in trouble again? Who's going to rise to the call? Remember, the streets don't wait for no one. Which leads up to a game that never saw the light of day!